there was a point there after you were scoreless in the first quarter that you sort of said to yourself, "Is enough? Is enough?" You only had five of your main guys. Was that something you made a concerted effort after that uneven first half when you didn't hit a shot that you had to get going a little more? Uh, I mean, yeah, I came into the game, um, you know, with the mindset that I was going to make those shots that I missed, obviously, but. Um, you know, I tried to turn it on. I, I felt like I started a little slow. You know, as a team, we we came out a little sluggish. Um, but I think we'll be ready for tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's a, a big game for us, a bounce back game on a back to back. What's it been like? I mean, I know you trust the other guys, and I can appreciate that. But what's it like knowing that pretty much you five guys who've been here all season have to carry much of the heavy lifting? Is it a different dynamic than knowing? You know, usually during the year, you guys have been eight, nine, ten deep. Uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously different, you know, with, uh, you know, with the guys we picked up on um, some some familiar faces, you know, Silva and, you know, and the rest of the guys. But I think, you know, just trying to give everything we have in that first unit until we, you know, we get our guys back so we we can get back to our normal rotations. But, you know, just trying to, you know, start faster um, and bring a bring a better focus tomorrow and, and we'll be ready. Thanks, Tyler. All right, up next we have Cooper Moreheadheat.com. Go ahead. Tyler, you guys did a career best night, uh, 22 points from O'Meara, including that a pretty big jumper from him in the final minute. What have you been seeing as far as his development game to game, and, and what do you think went so well for him tonight? Uh, yeah, I was, I was getting better, you know, every single night. You know, he's been, he's been at it since the summer, just continuing to work and, you know, put the time in. Um, He's a, he's a monster on the offensive glass, and he 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 had a really big shot for us in the in the in the fourth there. So, you know, like I said, he's he's getting better every single day. <clears throat> you know, he's putting the time in, and you know, he's going to continue to get better. Thank you, Tyler. All right, up next we have Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. Go ahead. Hey, Tyler. Um, so many of your minutes, you know, when when everybody's available, when most of the rosters available are are kind of staggered with Jimmy and Kyle. Um, you're obviously playing with a lot of minutes with them right now because of just who's available. Well, what's different when you're playing alongside both those guys who, you know, three, three ball dominant players, you know, and maybe you have to play off the ball a little bit more. What, what's different offensively for you uh, in those lineups? Um, just getting, you know, like you said, getting used to it, playing with both the guy, both those guys at the same time. And then um, just trying to, you know, figure out times when to be aggressive on the ball. And then other times where I'm, you know, a spacer and I just, you know, I stick on the three point line and, you know, give Jimmy and Kyle space to do their thing. So, um, you know, I feel like I can do both on or off the ball. So just being able to, you know, be confident in um, whatever those guys need. Thanks, Tyler. All right, Tyler, that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it.